You know when you hear that snazzy music, it is time for our Westways Weekender. Every other Saturday, we're featuring content from the Automobile Club of Southern California's Westways Magazine, exploring articles that celebrate travel, food, and life here in Southern California. We love it, and joining us live this morning is Westways Managing Editor Megan O'Dell to tell us about the mountain town of Idlewell in Riverside County. Megan, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for yeah, having me. We're happy to have you. Tell us what's special about Idlewild. Sure, so Idlewild is a dog-friendly, artsy, super walkable town in the San Jacinto Mountains. And the welcome signs when you're coming into town say that it's the home of adventure, music, art, and harmony, which I think is a really perfect description. I've personally been go visiting there for many years. There's never a bad time to go. I think that fall might be my favorite because you have the changing leaves, you have the cooler temperatures. Winter is also really beautiful as they get plenty of snow. And it's all set against this beautiful backdrop of Tequit's Peak. And it actually has a really interesting history, too. You can learn more about it at the museum, which is housed in one of the town's oldest cabins mm. and at the brand new visitor center. Oh, my gosh, these images are stunning. So advise us, Megan, how should we start the day in Idlewild? So you're going to want to fuel up for the day. I would highly recommend Mile High Cafe, which opened this February after being closed for about two years. I recently had an asparagus omelet there with a Korean scallion pancake on the Ooh. side. Oh, hold on now. And I've also heard great things about the Mile High Biscuit, which is just piled with eggs and protein. And the cafe shares a space with alpaca coffee and tea. Um, and so you can grab some caffeine on your way out. And then you might want to head to the Nature Center where they have lots of great displays and exhibits. They also have tons of walking and hiking trails for all skill levels. And you're going to see really beautiful streams and wildflowers and just incredible rock formations. Well, Megan, you had a said Mile High Biscuit, but what else <laughs> should we check out while we're in town? <laughs> You can easily spend hours just walking around the town, popping into the shops. There's so many shops in town. There's record stores, there's vintage and boutiques. There's, but my, one of my favorites is a new retail spot called The Collective. Um, they have Raven Hill Bagels, where they make their own bagels on site, and they have a great little mini market. Um, there's also Speakeasy Book Market, uh, which has a mix of new and used books. They host author events. And there's also a brand new flower shop called the Mountain Poppy Florals. They have really great gifts and fresh flower arrangements. Um, and while you're walking around town, you may also get to snap a pic with the mayor, who is actually a golden retriever named Max. Oh, we know Megan. Yes. Our Alice Biston went to Idlewild for her uh, Let's Go Places, and she featured the mayor. So mm -hmm. we remember. We remember Mayor Max. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Megan, uh, for those of us who maybe want to explore some nightlife, where can we go for dinner and some good drinks? Absolutely. So for dinner, I would recommend Cafe Aroma, which has new ownership as of this year. Um, this, and also uh, Faro, which has uh, really great authentic Italian food. Uh, the owner there, when I was there last time, I was eating a really delicious pizza. And they told me that they make all their pastas in-house. And at Cafe Aroma here, the owner was actually flambeing uh, the Cherries Jubilee and Scallop Bisque that I had when I was there. That was a really great experience. And if you want some nightcaps, uh, Taryn's Place is a really fun neighborhood pub. It just opened up a few months ago. They have live music most nights. Um, wine fans should also stop by the Wine Finch, which is a natural wine bar. They have a beautiful view of Taquit's Peak from their patio. And then Middle Ridge Winery, uh, which is shown here, they have live music on their patio, and they also have an art gallery in the middle of the tasting room, which is really unique. Very cool. All right, and so if we're looking to come soon, any upcoming events we should be aware of, Megan? Absolutely. There's a wine and art walk on October 12th coming up, and every Halloween they have an old-fashioned parade through town. And there's also a tree lighting ceremony on November 30th where they light up all the trees in the middle of town. It's really impressive. Awesome. Megan O'Dell, thank you so much for joining us and giving us all this great advice. Yes. And for more great travel ideas, you can go to kcalnews.com slash seen on TV to get the link to all the hot spots we just mentioned. You know, I'll be thinking about a mile biscuit all day now. I want all those, uh, the Korean scallion pancakes mm. or something. All right. There